Hello, it's me again, and we are walking in to the bridge in between uh, Laredo, Texas, towards New Laredo, Mexico. And it's uh, really fun. We are just crossing the border, um, and we're looking for um, to do business in between these two areas. So um, the Lord stay with us, right? And we are very happy to be um, in this place. There is a, a beautiful Grande River around there. And all these beautiful coming from shopping. They came early in the morning and they went shopping and they're both going back to uh, Laredo, <laughs> New Laredo. So um, they were just passed by. But no, just continue with it. Uh, they have a have to purchase a ticket over here. Ticket or just to pay um, coins. Maybe um, coins, what we have to 75 cents. And we're going to pay 75 cents. One, two, and three. We're just gonna walk through, and we are just free to go towards the other side. Oh, Mexico is just right there. So we are walking towards the Mexican side. It is the work of every entrepreneur to seek uh, better ways to keep, to open bridges of peace in between the nations, right? Especially um, people who know how to speak language, right? So we're just walking down towards the bridge. And, and see, you see people coming from different places and happily walking towards, um, towards Mexico. So we are walking right towards it and enjoying the ride. Hello? And it is, um, these bridges were built uh, during the time of uh, Massintosh around this area, right? They have uh, placed this fortress around and have uh, a lot of people coming to do business and to come over and shop, right? It's a, a, a very nice, very nice uh, environment it looks peaceful and it's a uh, very appropriate right for all the people who are always dream to really practice and learn the language right um, really crossing the bridge is uh, something very easy we're almost done so which means that uh, Laredo Texas from a uh, new Laredo is just like a couple of minutes from distance and so right there there is um, another people um, just checking out that you're coming uh, healthy okay and ready to enjoy right to become a part of a tourist in New Laredo so let us see how everything goes so we see that uh, all the people is passing by the water the bridge really fast <laughs> The network and uh, the ways of gathering the information, right, in regards of people from one side to the other side and all the way around has been very advanced. And it is very good for everybody to keep uh, their identity. So you can just cross any kind of bridge, right, everywhere all over the world, right? And, and this is the Rio Grande. This is a very safe bridge. Right, it's... Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And so we are just uh, passing by and we're going to get there very soon. And uh, having uh, a trip to become a tourist or just go um, 
to hang around the city or near Laredo. The only thing that it has to be done is just to stop by the office of immigration, right? And see if you have the need to have a uh, to have your passport sealed. Most of the most of the times people don't have to go and request permission to come into the port of New Laredo from Laredo, Texas. If you are visiting, you just go in the city and come back with the same passport, with the same US passport, right? Which means that people coming to New Laredo are 100% welcome with the American passport. So just right here is the bridge. And we're just uh, right. It looks like it's very nice. We didn't have a, a lot of problems coming through. And we're gonna see if we can have a permit to, to make a trip to Monterey or the province of Mexico. See if they want to, if they want to uh, give us a visa to visit for like a month or two and eventually we're going to check out the university on the other side and it's, it's, it's called Instituto Nacional de Migración the place where people had to come over and we're going to be here asking for to have a visa Buenos días. Aquí es donde dan las visas sí, para no. de, ok, ya. muchas gracias. Mándemela. Gracias. 
Ahí es. Oye, tú. Sí. ¿Está desconectado o está apagado? No, no, no sé. Está apagado. ¿Está apagado? ¿Tiene fuego? ¿Ya quedó? Voy a tratar de título. Sí. Sí. ¿A dónde van? Está? San Luis Potosí. ¿Cuánto? Eh, ¿El autobús? Voy a... así. ¿Cuántos días vas? Este, voy a ir 15 días. A ver, por favor. Sí, esta fue la que le puse. Me voy llenando, por favor, la parte de arriba y la parte de abajo. Gracias. No, dices que. 